In the Kabir slum, those who have nothing are looting those who have a little bit more. More than 50% of the people who live in the Kabir slum are unemployed. It has a child mortality rate that is between five and seven times the national average. There are tens of thousands of AIDS orphans and there is no proper water or sanitation or electricity. All this in a slum with nearly a million people. You see children getting sick and it affects every aspect of their development. This summer, orphans from the Kabir slums will come together for several global action camps where they will be ministered to by international teams. These children will have the opportunity to be kids and enjoy nutritious food, learn new games, make crafts, hear all about Christ, and be connected with local leaders who will continue to pour into their lives. Today, Eastern Europeans are working at finding a new identity and new ideologies. In the midst of this is a church of vibrant believers reaching out with the gospel. It is time to get involved. This summer, Global Action's Hope Center in Crimea will provide orphans with food, shelter, swimming in the Black Sea, crafts, games, and sports. International teams from around the globe go and share the love of God and personally model a Christian lifestyle to these kids. This summer, we hope to welcome 625 kids from varying orphanages to five camps. Think of the impact. Говорить по телефону с родителями, что бы вы им сказали? Я бы сказала, что здесь просто обалденно. Я приехала с Феодосии. Я очень рада, что посетила этот лагерь, так как в этом лагере я впервые, и я нашла здесь действительно много друзей. Meeting at eight locations, these children attend vacation Bible school, Sunday school, and even church. This program provides physical and spiritual help. Their physical needs can be met through providing blankets and sweaters during the cold months. The first step to a small health clinic is in the works. Kids will experience quality health care, personal counseling, and weekly interaction with the staff. In the city of Kolkata, Five schools have been launched in the slums where 650 children attend. Apart from the daily school, there are Bible classes, an art institute, a micro-enterprise program where locals can learn to make artifacts, a beautician school, and a church. But you will also find adults copying textbooks by hand to use in the classroom. Current needs are to provide textbooks, hygiene education, a small medical clinic, and tools to make the school even more productive. Escape this pain, blind. 